Hey YouTube, uh, it's me, Windows 11 here. And I'm gonna do like, not a tackle box video, but a review of how I made a, my own backpack for my tackle. And I'm also gonna show you like some of my favorite lures and stuff. Alright, so start off with this. Oh yeah, I got this backpack from like Walmart for like 15 bucks. Start out with swim baits and frogs. I got some like four frogs, some off, some Berkeley, some like four ma live magic shads, some rage to rage toads. Um, going to the pocket here. I got a that crappie box. It's like a little jerk bait in there. We got some like it actually holds a lot in here. If you can see that, let me check. Yeah. Okay, let me zoom in a bit. It holds a decent amount of stuff because there's so many pockets, so I got like my scale of air players, long like long players if they swallow it, bunch of hooks and bullet weights, I got some eagle crawl, just circle hooks, a flashlight, some, a knife, Pocket is. I'm gonna start with some of my soft plastics. It's my worms, like all worms. Got the Terminate, Terminate, Tournament Series Bass Pro, Pro Bass Pro Shops Tournament Series six inch stick of worms and uh, watermelon. It's like really nice, like. It's like a swirl almost with some black in it. I got some yum dingers, some Gary Yamamoto's, everything. I'm going to try getting them to uh, soft baits a lot more this year. Um, this is my, my friend, no. Alright, so this is my, just, my hard baits and stuff. I got a Zara puppy. Like a hard bait frog, old crankbait, a bunch of little jigs, an old crankbait. Reaction Innovation, that's all. That's not supposed to be in there. Bass Pro, et no, this is a Kevin Van Dam 1.5 in, uh, I think it's in Baby Bass. And then this is my Bass Pro Shops egg. I love it. Little crayfish. I think that's a, uh, I don't remember the brand that is, but I like it a lot. Another old crankbait. Some, oh, and then, no, hold on. Yeah, I think I, this, I think this is a Bass Pro brand. No, this is a, I think this is the Kevin Van Dam series. Oh, crankbait. I don't remember, I'm confused between the two. No, this is my Bass Pro egg. And then this is a, uh, this is a, oh, yeah, I have two Bass Pro eggs. I got confused for a second. Ouch. Another one. I love the eggs. They're awesome because I always fish really shallow water, so. Um, the next one is my, all my spinner baits and my, like, my new uh, umbrella rig, just a tiny little three. I really like it because it's smaller. There's a lot smaller. There's not huge bass around me, so I like fishing that. It's a bunch of spinner baits. I love spinner baits. I'm not gonna go through all of those. There's too many in there. Um. 
this is, oh, I have a lot of tubes and craws. These are my tubes and craws. I got some, some off-brand, like, really weird tube craws. I got some, these are all, like, really old, like, Kevin Van Dam, like, like, Kevin Van Dam's salt and credit. It's like pretty old tubes, but they work still really good. Nice and soft. Got a bunch of those. Yeah, so what I just did, I just took this backpack and it took me a while to figure out how to organize it all, but once I got it, it's a pretty good system. It's all easy to take out, easy to put back in. Alright. This is a tackle box my friend Jake gave me when I was in the Bass Pro Shops video. He gave me like 95%, like almost all of these except for like one. All really good lures. We got some poppers, a really nice crankbait, a few joined crankbaits, really deep diver, two uh, two rattle traps. That's my swim bait. That's uh, like a chatterbait looking thing. I'll show you this. This is really weird. If you can see this. Okay, you can see it. It's like it's like a chatterbait with them. It's got like the it's got like the it's got like a almost like a jerk bait body. It's really weird. I like it. Some small jerk baits, some small crank baits. Um this is my jig. I'm running pretty low on jigs right now, but Oh, uh, what is the brand name? I don't remember. I got these from Cabela's, but really nice. I think these are like 3 8 ounce. Well, this is like a watermelon red. It's got some rattles in it, if you can hear it. I got one in like PB&J. I got one with black and blue, another black and blue, and then got a straight up white one. And then just some trailers. Let me show you what works really well. I don't know the brand names of these, but I just know that they do work. So I go to, during the winter, all of the lakes around here frozen because it doesn't work. But this is where I go. When I go fishing, I go to a warm water discharge and I just throw this jerk bait. You just let it sink and they just attack it when it's sinking. That's all I've been using for the past few weeks. But once it gets once spring comes I'm doing a lot of fishing, so be ready for all those videos. And um oh yeah, I wanna show you the no pole no poles I got from Cabela's. Oh um, where is it? Here it is. Uh, yeah, now you're gonna see that my my rod holder isn't the greatest. So I made oh, sorry guys. Really unorganized right now. Which are it is, uh, I got two of these. This one is a seven foot medium action. It was like, it's called the Cabela's Gold Label. This is an eight to pound, eight to 12 pound test. Really nice, it's a two piece. I wish it had, sorry about that guys. It's like really nice. 
I'm gonna use this for like worms and stuff, wacky rigs. Sorry if I have a bad camera and you guys like tripods being weird. But yeah, I got this one in seven foot, and then I have another one in a six foot six. Both really great rods, really cheap for twenty bucks. For well, let's go pick one up before they run out. Um, I think this is gonna be the end of this video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe. See you next time.